In this Excel video, I will share with you two little Excel tips to simplify repetitive tasks. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in a workbook with two spreadsheets. Let's start with the first tip, which is use the fill handle for quick data replication. You can see I have a list of months here and some revenue and units sold. I need to go in now and type in June, July, August, September. No, actually I don't. I'm going to click here on May and you'll notice this little green square in the lower right corner of the active cell. That's the fill handle. And if I click on it and drag down, look what happens. June is automatically placed in the next cell. I can click and drag and go down really far into the spreadsheet. If I release the mouse button, you can see what happens. I'll stretch out this column so that everything can fit better. But you can see that the pattern is extended. June, July, August, all the way through December, and then it repeats back to January. Now this works not only with months, with days, even times, and other patterns that Excel can recognize. So stop typing in this information manually and instead use the fill handle. If you want to learn more about this, watch my other videos on this topic. But it's time now for the second little tip to simplify repetitive tasks in Excel. And this is related to the fill handle. I'm going to click here on the autofill with custom lists spreadsheet for this second tip. You can see here I have a list of departments. And if I try using the fill handle with this, it's not going to work. Instead, it's just going to copy finance in this case all the way down. I'll undo that by holding control and tapping Z. But I'd like to set up an autofill with a custom list. To do this, I would go to File, and I'll go down to Options. I'll select Advanced, and if I browse down to the General section, notice that I have an Edit Custom Lists button. If I click there, it shows some of the lists that the fill handle understands and can create. In this case, I want a new list, and I can just type in my own custom list. Having done that, I can now click Add, and it's added as a custom list in my workbook. I'll click OK, click OK again, and now, if I try using the fill handle, it performs an autofill with this custom list that I set up, and I can repeat that pattern over and over as many times as I want. If I go back to this other spreadsheet, the fill handle spreadsheet, and type in HR, tap enter and then if I click on that cell B2 in this case and use the fill handle look it works beautifully even in another spreadsheet so these are two little Excel tips to simplify repetitive tasks using the fill handle for typical days and months and times and then also setting up your own custom autofill with custom lists I hope you found these tips to be helpful if you did please like follow and subscribe and when you do click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video if you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also support me by clicking the thanks button below the video, support me through my Patreon account, or by buying channel merch, and you'll see more information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. I really appreciate all you do to support the channel. It's because of you that I can keep making these videos on my weekends and in the evenings, so thank you so much. If you want to learn more about these autofill or fill handle tips, watch my other videos that touch on those topics, and please do watch the two most popular and successful Excel videos on YouTube, which are The Beginner's Guide to Microsoft Excel and Excel for Beginners, The Complete Course. 